I'm back. Just in time. The sun's rising. Yes! It's booted. We're good to go. Did you miss me? No? Anyone? Hello? Am I speaking out loud? Hello? Workaholics. Let's get started. Do you have any clue about those numbers under the drawing? 1419, 1420, 1421. Maybe something to do with the Hundred Years' War. Or, or wait, in 1419, Pope Martin V arrived in Florence, right? He, he left for Rome in 1420, and that was the same year Brunelleschi began building the Duomo. And in 1421... Um, in 1421... Yeah, I'll have to do some more research, I think. So, what do you think of Monteregioni? This is not Monteregioni. Monteregioni existed in the Renaissance. Ask me how the town was in 1554 when it was seized by Florence and I'll tell you. Huh. I figured you'd like it nowadays. Seems not to have changed much. Exactly. History is the study of change. Change is life. When things become static, it means they're dead. You know I love talking about this stuff, Desmond, but we have work to do now. What are we gonna do about Abstergo? Wait it out. As soon as we find the Apple, I get in contact with our other teams in Europe, but as far as Italy goes, we're on our own. It'd be nice to have some help from above! Our top assassins are busy gathering info about the Templar satellite launch. We've pinpointed several possible facilities in the US, China, and Russia, but there are no clear leads yet. What are the other teams doing? Combating Abstergo's search for pieces of Eden. As far as I know, Abstergo has no clue about the temples and Ezio's apple. We might actually be ahead for once. We have work to do. You seem focused. I've been busy patching new systems into Baby here. She's only gonna get better. Is Desmond gonna be able to relive memories this time? As a matter of fact, he will. Always a tech geek? Nah, I was into sports, but then I broke my leg and started playing with computers. Who knew that coding could be just as exhilarating as strapping on a board and dropping out of a helicopter? Just FYI, you might want to get your adrenal glands checked. You know? Because that... that is not normal. You gotta stay with the code. As you may have noticed in the van, I've made some improvements to the Animus, and I've also patched in a new VR training program. Here you can show off all those flashy moves you picked up from your ancestors. Let me open one of the missions. Take him! Now! <laughs> 
You can access more VR missions through the Animus desktop. As you complete training sessions, I'll add additional challenges. To stop your subconscious from rejecting Ezio's later memories, you're gonna have to live them in the order his genome recorded them. Highlight sequence two for me, Desmond. Good, now select it and you're gonna see the memories inside. Once you've unlocked a memory, by accessing this menu, you can relive it as many times as you want. But what if there are memories I just want to forget? Desmond, this is very important. If you need to take a break, log out of the Animus. You can leave the machine whenever you like. I'm all set to go. Don't worry. One last thing. As you raise your synchronization by executing events the way Ezio lived them, you might even discover some repressed memories. Okay, let's get started. Select the first memory. Desmond, I've been looking at those gibberish five-digit codes from the end of Subject 16's files, and I seem to have discovered a remarkable coincidence. The codes correspond perfectly with coordinates inside the Animus. I've tagged the landmarks, pinpointed by the coordinates with eye icons in the database. Now, odds are you won't find anything there, but, well, who knows? Calmatevi. The pain will end soon. Where have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. Did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the Mausoleo di Augusto. Let me help you get dressed. The same man who brought me here gave me these clothes? Si, Messere. or what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the mausoleo? Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? Yes, but the stairs up are closed. That should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Addio. I need to find the doctor. My arm. Salute. I require medicine. Ah, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. Four out of five doctors would suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I can recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need anything else? Come, amici! A fresh sheep's urine and Someone my age. 
imbecille. My back. Gone out that a peasant is resisting arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. Machiavelli can wait. was until that porco defiled her i wish he just killed her i wish he just killed la mia mata people who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her smiles on their faces when her neck i understand how can you 
My Livia was innocent! I have lost family to the rope. To treachery. Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice. Nice work down there. Uh, not my best. Go to egg, <laughs> Requiescat in pace. Go! Oh! in Campania has now spread to the lower region. I am... Ezio, what a surprise to see you here. I thought you had sent for me. Never. News of the villa attack has spread across the city. We were certain that you were dead. Not yet. I am still very much alive. The Borgia must not discover that you escaped them. Follow me. Take care not to draw any undue attention. When do I ever? I hear the Cardinale has abandoned. You would be wise to purchase missing equipment. You will not live long in Roma without supplies. I have my blade. I am hoping the will have and the guards have their guns, courtesy of the Borgia. Fortunately, I can help you. Grazie. While you are in my debt, perhaps you will listen to reason. As soon as I hear some, I will let you know. my craftsmanship. As good as any you'll find, I guarantee. Come again! Oh, 
Then, now you can survive the journey back to Firenze. Perhaps. But I'm not going to Firenze. Oh. There will be no peace until we rise up against the entire Borgia family and the Templars who serve them. I do not recall such brave talk at Monteregioni. How could I have known that they would find me so quickly? That they would kill Mario? Rodrigo surrounds himself with snakes and murderers. Even his daughter Lucrezia has been sharpened into one of his most artful weapons. But she pales in comparison to the man behind the villa attack. He is ambitious, ruthless, and cruel beyond imagining. The laws of men mean nothing to him. He murdered his own brother to take power. He knows neither danger nor fatigue. Those who do not fall by his sword clamor to join his ranks. The powerful Orsini and Colonna families have been brought to kneel at his feet, and the King of France stands at his side. Give me his name. Cesare, head of the papal armies. What does he intend to do with his power? What drives the man? That I still do not know. But Ezio, Cesare has set his sights on all of Italia, and at this rate he will have it. Is that admiration I hear in your voice? He knows how to exercise his will. A rare virtue in the world today. Should we not travel by horse? Roma is quite large. As Cesare's conquests in Romagna continue to succeed, and the Borgia grow in power, they have taken desirable areas of the city for themselves. We cannot use the stables here. Oh, the will of the Borgia is law now? What are you implying, Ezio? Do not play dumb with me, Machiavelli. Do you have some kind of plan? I am improvising. <laughs> We've an assassin to rob. Forza, Borgia! Let's show him some Borgia hospitality. Come on, you lazy dog. Let's show him some Borgia hospitality, boys. Come on, you lazy dogs. We've an a Forza, Borgia. Let's kill this slug. Let's show him some Borgia hospitality, boys. Forza, Borgia. Let's kill this slug. Come on, you lazy dogs! We've an assassin to rob! Come on, you lazy dogs! We've an assassin to rob! Forza Borgia! Let's kill it! Come on, you Forza Borgia! Let's kill this slug! Let's show. Come on, you lazy dogs! We've an assassin to rob! Just because you kill a few guards, does not mean the people will grant access to the stables. You are right. We need to send a signal. Wait here. The commander of the Reloni's garrison will be recruiting new members for the Papal Armed Forces, starting on Monday, 2 to Thursday inclusively. Positions in regular and reserve militia regimentary are available.
it seems this table is now available for purchase. After you. Bishop Chivo of Falini has made it known a miracle is being celebrated in his in his Whilst attending to the Eucharist, was witnessed by all faithful friends. The marble of the Santa wept bread upon the blood. Beggars of gross wealth or those immovably disabled are asked not to break directly before the doors of the Chiese of Rome. A new regulation is given. Excel at opening wounds, Ezio. But can you also close them? I intend to heal their sickness, not treat its symptoms. Stop sparring with me. Fine. Let us talk openly then. Rodrigo Borgia's death would not have solved anything. I am inclined to disagree. Look at this city, the center of Borgia and Templar rule. Killing one man will not change things. We need to take away the source of their power. Are you suggesting we appeal to the people? Maybe. Relying on the people is like building on the sand. You are wrong. Our belief in humanity rests at the heart of the Assassin Brotherhood. <laughs> he must be from your inner circle. Go, get back what he has stolen. I will wait at the Campidoglio. I am meeting a no, contact. Me. Give me back my money! Come back here! Get out of here before I regret sparing your life. 